Hey there, friends! Lord Common here. And as you see last time in our single soldier challenge, we downed an alien craft. Making sure we only have one rocket guy. Plus the other. So. <laughs> Oh boy. Let's see. Let's get we'll get into bit business really quick. We're just gonna sell a few things. <laughs> I forgot to sell some stuff. Need like one small sun launcher. I forgot to sell from last mission like a daggum idiot. <laughs> All this is gonna be otherwise, let's see. Okay. Okay. Since we cannot wait for the other two uh, vehicles to show up, we're just gonna take the one tank and, well, the one person. And we're gonna go get a hold of this alien craft. It's probably the stupidest idea, but remember, this is a challenge. Gotta love it. You know what? Leave it on the ground. Or leave it on his legs. I can't believe it. They actually put the explosives on this man's legs. That is unbelievable. And right out of the get, we have three bad guys. Whatever the hell that is. Sectoid, sectoid, whatever. Okay, so just a moment, folks, and we'll get down to business. First order of business is to kill crap dead. Okay, well, let's see if uh, said tank can find him. Let's see, give me a moment. Oh, there he is. Yeah, boy. The tank actually got shot. Unbelievable. Wonky sector. Thank you. Now the head honcho can see stupid. I'm gonna have him do a snapshot because he could probably hit. Him. Which he did. Yeah, head honcho proves why he is well the head honcho. <laughs> well, that was very enlightening. And there's an alien on the roof. Miss, my head honcho is. Firing back. Bullseye! You better miss him, he's in a flipping craft. No, my head honcho was not harmed. Thank you, merciful God. Okay. Oh yeah, he's up. I can assure you he's up there, but I have to go. I probably have to go up there to get him. No? No, I won't. Look at this. 89% at 40 TTUs. I'm gonna, and at 60% we got on the snapshot. We got us a kick-ass superior officer here. That has a little problem with a shot. But! Tags the mofo, nonetheless. And the head honcho himself is not hurt. The whole point of a single soldier challenge, friends, is to... for the main character to live and everything else to die. And once the tank, tank redecorate the landscape. Gotta love it. Now, the tank can take damage, but if the tank is still physically living by any stretch of the imagination, 
Uh, it'll be fully repaired and found as another pigeon. Okay, Honcho, get down there and shoot. And he can see the stupid. Now, I'm using snapshots because those are at 60% per hit. And that joker's carrying a heavy plasma. <laughs> if the tanks are still surviving by the end of the mission, no matter what, they're always fully repaired and everything else. It's all smooth. Me? I don't know about anybody else, but I like, you know, playing with decoration. That's just, you know, me. And by the next mission up, we will have, um... A little bit more to work with, because we'll have three tanks instead of just the one. Okay. You know what, I'm gonna keep the head honcho up here, just to be on the safe side, but I wanna bring him down off the craft and have him kneel. See, we're in the corner of the map here, folks. A lot of people don't do this. See, we're right, we're right here, and this is our tank right here. And we have our tank, and we're gonna go whoopity doo da, zippity a. Come on, boys, come on out and play. Aliens, come out to play. <laughs> Warriors joke. Well, anyway, so. I like shooting out the buildings and stuff like that because the aliens are usually found in here. Right there, see? You shoot out the buildings, the aliens have nowhere to hide. And it's so much fun for me. <laughs> I like... Oh, that's it? Sweet business. We actually got a live alien out of that? Who gets a giggity to this? Moi. Giggity, giggity, giggity. All right. So let's see. We are researching the sector leader, which is coming up, and the hyper decoder right after that. Always make sure you uh look at that. Now we got a live alien. Got a sectoid navigator, sectoid soldiers, floater medic, floater navigator, floater soldier. La. Okay, so. Oh, we got plenty of HW rockets. Now I need to build me another base, which I'm going to do because we're we're still in we're in April. We haven't built a new base yet. So what we're going to do, and some some people over there. But they're not going to move. There's more of a glorified, um... It's more of a glorified listening post. Now I'm going to put it over here. Hmm. Now this is a single soldier challenge, but uh, there's nothing saying that you can't... Let's see, let's put it in England over here, because... That'll give us a wide girth. <laughs> Okay, you always want to put it right there. Now, you want to build facilities, the hangar, which you put right here. Then you want to put a general stores right here. Also, living quarters right here. And for the immediate moment, until we get our hyper decoders, we put the alien uh, thing here. That's all we need for the immediate moment. Now, when this is built, we're going to build us the missile defenses. That's just for now. When the living quarters is done, then I'm going to move all the soldiers from here over to there. Okay. Now, doing it this way, I can keep my eyes on both bases, and we'll get things on the move. Okay. Now, this is all this base is now covered. Look at those stats of this man! Wow! 
That man has some serious stats. But what I'm going to do, folks, is I'm going to send some more people over here as soon as the living quarters are built over there. Now I'm going to see. Hold on, see. We search. We need. Hmm. Okay, now we're going to purchase. No, scientist. Can we get 40? Yeah. Sure, Hap. And that'll be all the scientists you will ever need. <laughs> Believe me. And go! And ladies and gentlemen, Elvis has entered the building. Oh! Now the Psy Lab, the Martial Illusion and the Psy Lab. Now this is the reason you want it. But first order of business is I want the Psy Labs. Hands down, I must have those. Those puppies are the cream de la creme of what we need. Because those build psychic stuff. Allows us to... Whoa! Allows us to have psychic characters, as in using psionic abilities. Now... Oh crap, hola. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be very, very difficult. Can we say, oh crap, people? Well, this is what the challenge is all about. Trust me on this one. At least we're going to get a day mission. Maybe. Yeah, we're going to get a day, day terror mission at least. You know what's going to make this so hard, ladies and gentlemen? I have one tank, one soldier. Shit. But, it's a super soldier. Oh, baby Jesus Lord. This is going to be very, very difficult on poor Garoski here. Well, folks, this is what it means to have a true challenge. This may be the end of it right here. Hold on to your bunions. Because crystalids are going to be my biggest pain in the ass. But luckily, soup, the super soldier program we got running here today will kill these mofos quite easily. And Comet, in all his magnificent glory, not only kills these mofos, But remember, we got us a super soldier versus all whatever bad guys are in here. So this is going to get very ugly, folks. The, as I said, the tank only has eight rockets on it. And all the people getting gacked. Because apparently the hidden movement is too, uh, too M-rated for TV, so they go, can't show it. Okay. Hold on to your butt, people. This is going to get real ugly. I'm thinking about. Uh oh. Uh, that's a snake dude. So, comet steps down. Look at that, 91% hit accuracy for that man. No one on fire. Ah. You can probably see him now. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Dead. We're going to try to conserve the rockets as best we can. We're using the tank as a shield for our human al ally. Because it's the only two people on the battlefield. What's really funny is I can just picture the civilians going, What the hell? We paid for a big, large army and we got two things? A soldier and a tank? That's all they sent? What kind of bullshit is this? <laughs> but remember, folks. Challenge. I was telling my friend Sketch uh, in, a, in, a, in a chat room going, this is one hell of a challenge, dude. You should try it. Yeah, 
and there's another snake dude who needs to be capped. So let's see. He's over here. With a 91% hit accuracy, I don't think he's gonna miss. Unlikely. Nope. <laughs> this is the benefit of training just one single solitary soldier. He is bad ass. He really is. You know what? I'm gonna end the turn right there so the tank can have a, a snapshot in case something comes in his little, you know, range. And there's still more things shooting. Now, that's only one crystal it's so far. That may be the only one here. Maybe. Comet isn't sure where it's going to, uh... Pop out or what, but... Now, we're gonna leave the tank with the, uh... Snapshot. Because it takes 32 for that sucker to shoot. Now, I'm gonna move Comet around and see if we can spot anything else with his hawk eyes. He is one of the best soldiers I've seen in an XCOM game. Hands down. Cheat! Now, Comet has snapshots out the Waz Hazi here. He can shoot auto shots if he needs to. But, <laughs> we're gonna try to refrain from any craziness. So then he goes, Why did you blow up my house? What did he see? Under snake dude. Alright folks, stick uh <laughs> alright folks, stay tuned in. This is this is where it gets crazy. I'm going to continue it in the next video. Have a good night all and God bless.